I'm staying at the Residence Inn in Columbia on Mateus Road. This is near Lexington Hospital. Uh, Residence Inn is cool because it's got a full kitchen. See this full kitchen? Let me spin you guys around so you're not looking at me the whole time. So when you walk in the door, this is what you see. Okay, off to the right here, we've got a full kitchen. And when I say full kitchen, I mean full kitchen. I've got a refrigerator with an ice maker in there. It was empty, I went ahead and turned a little switch so it could make ice, it's already dumped some ice, pretty cool. Um, got a dishwasher, got a coffee maker, I went ahead and plugged it up. I got some coffee here, which is great. Uh, toaster oven, got two eyes, burner, and a full-size microwave. I got plates and stuff up here. Man, this is so nice. I love staying in a residence inn when I can, because I'm gonna be here for a full week, and I need all of the amenities. I got full stuff, man. I got a can opener, I got wine opener. I'm not gonna use that, but I got sharp knives and forks and stuff. I got all kinds of stuff in here, some spatulas. I got pots and pans down here. Like if I wanted to cook a you know, decent meal for myself, I could cook one right here. No problem whatsoever. Um, little sink underneath the sink, full size trash can, got a little scrubby pad, some extra uh, paper towels. Got some uh, finish tabs for the dishwasher. Not that you'd probably need that, uh, but maybe for the whole week I might. Uh, nice little bar here I can sit at. What kind of cool is, you can sit here and you can watch TV. This TV right here accesses uh, smart TV stuff, so you can watch your Netflix or whatever. The TV also spins around, so if you wanted to watch it while you were in bed, your bed's right there. Got a king size bed. You can sit at the, you can sit at the bar and watch TV. Sit at the bed and watch TV. Got a big full length mirror. Uh, temperature controls here. You can hear the AC unit is running. Um, there's a L-shaped couch right here that you can have this little tray come around and like if you want to sit here and eat, you could do that. Uh, there's an office desk area with a little swivel chair, real nice. Some lamps, paper, pens. Uh, for those who are on the go and you're worried about plugging in your stuff, there's two outlets up here, two outlets up there. There's also a clock over here, an alarm clock with USB plugs on top of it. Uh, nice king size bed. I brought my own pillow just because generally speaking, hotel pillows are squishy and I like a firm pillow. Uh, I just sleep better with a firm pillow. This is a big closet. It's got an ironing board and iron in here. There's a nice table over here for you to lay out stuff if you wanted to. Put your little you know, sundry stuff over here. Uh, another mirror. Got two big drawers here that you can put stuff in. Uh, probably hang my clothes, some clothes in here and put some clothes in here. Uh, nice sink area with that. I like the light that goes behind the mirror. I think that's real pretty. Um, a lot of light underneath too, which is really nice. Plus you got another light up top for if you want a bright light. All of the stuff you're gonna need to stay. And I love the shower without the shower door. I like the fact that you turn yourself on over here and then you just walk underneath the shower over here. You shower and then the water catches on this tray. I like that. I kinda wanna do this at my house. I'll be honest with you. I think this would be nice at the house. I mean, this is basically the same space as a tub. Um, without measuring it, I would say this is probably five feet by your standard three feet. So, I mean, maybe two and a half feet, I don't know. I'd have to get a tape measure. But judging by the, the tiles, maybe three feet. And maybe five feet by two and a half. Anyway, you get the picture. Um, they include some stuff, hair care products and whatnot by Paul Mitchell, which is kind of cool. I like the fact that they have that little tie-in. Some good products to wash your hair with and wash with. And of course, really nice quality towels. I mean, these are, these are nice. So anyway, I'm staying here at the Residence Inn, and if you're ever in this area and you need to stay at one, this is the kind of stuff you can expect. So maybe this will help you make your decision on where you want to stay. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. Okay, I would like to add that I stayed at the Residence Inn in Lexington, Columbia for five nights, and it was clean. It was quiet, I had decent water pressure. Um, the hot water does take a while for it to get hot, but uh, I really loved having the full kitchen. I was able to go to a grocery store and spend about $40 on food to feed me for the week. Soups and sandwiches and stuff like that, and it was great. Um, I asked them for no service. I left the uh, do not disturb on the door. Um, <clears throat> I did run out of some shampoo. I had to go get some more shampoo and something else, I forget what else, but, uh, oh, the coffee. The coffee was actually really good. I set the coffee pot for it to go off in the morning and 
it was really tasty, uh, especially with my creamer that I got from the grocery store. So anyway, um, I really like residence in. I like staying, you know, anywhere where I can have a, an access to a kitchen, which I know is, it's not really important to a lot of people, uh, but it was for me. And it worked out great to be there for five days. So even though I wasn't home, it was kind of nice to have some creature comforts of home without really having to eat fast food every night. So uh, I will be staying there in the future. So thumbs up.